All right, we're here at the Mayweather Boxing Club with Luis Cuba Arias. Uh, just a few days after his impressive victory over Latif Monday. Uh, first of all, Luis, uh, just tell us about the fight. Um, did it go the way you expected? Uh, you know, what, what were you happy with? What were you a little disappointed with? Uh, um, overall, I was happy with the fight. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we got the W, so that's what matters most. Um, the fight went well. I, I felt like he did what he was going to do, which was survive, try to use the experience against me. Um, I brought the fight to him as always. Um, I felt like uh, I hit him with a bunch of shots that he wasn't gonna be able to take. But um, he was a survivor, you know. He had a lot of experience. He uh, he kind of let me go off on him in the beginning of the fight, hoping that I would tire out. And um, I tried not. I, you know, I, I kind of picked up on it a little bit. You know, in the second or third round, I, uh, I that's why I tried to hit him to the body as much as I could, just to slow him down as well. But um, the fight was good. Um, if I was happy about it. Uh, you know, we we won. We won over a tough opponent. We took him, we went all six rounds, you know, I, hope, I wanted the knockout, but, you know, um, a tough decision is good, we got the rounds in me. I felt like I just had, it's a couple more things that I need to tweak in, in part of my camp, and in terms of my work ethic, uh, we need to step it up a little bit, you know. Um, it, it, was, it was a good fight, he, he brought a lot of good out of me, he, uh, you know, I, I did get a little tired at the end of the fight, which we need to, we, we're going to fix, you know, right away, but um, overall, you know, we won, it was a good learning experience, I was, uh, learned a lot from him, and um, it's on to the next one, now it's going back to the drawing board and, and fixing the little things that we need to fix. Were you surprised that he was able to go the, the full distance with you? Actually, I was, I was, um, I figured that I would, I would take him in the, I would get him out of in the middle to the late, to, you know, fourth round, but uh, he took, he took some shots, you know, like I said, I, I, it wasn't like I wasn't going for a knockout. Uh, there was a couple shots in there that I, you know, I loaded up real good and caught him clean with, and he took. You know, it was, a, it was a couple body shots that I turned my entire body with, you know, hit him with everything, and, you know, he took it and he found a way to survive. So um, it, you're not going to knock everyone out um, as much as I want to, as much as I hope for, as much as I actually go for the knockout. You know, it's not always going to happen. So it's another learning experience, you know. I was able to, I was able to adapt to the fact that he was able to survive. So, um, it was, it was good. I'm glad, I'm glad we got that fight out of the way, and now it's time to move forward. We talked before the fight. You said you, you thought maybe this would be your last fight at six rounds. That's still the plan? You're looking to move up to? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, that, that was my fifth six-rounder. You know, my first fight was a four-rounder. Every other fight after that has been a six-rounder. Um, I feel like I need to, I know I know what I got to do to step up to eight rounds, and I'm ready for it. Um, I just got to, like I said, there's a couple of things we need to fix in part of our camp, uh, a couple of things we need to just tweak in terms of my, you know, fighting fighting ways and my, you know, just the way the way to handle an eight-rounder, and I'm ready for it, you know, it's just a matter of just taking my time. So uh, hopefully in September we do fight eight, but uh, if we need to fight another six, you know, it's, it's up to Mario, it's up to Floyd and Leonard. But I'm 100% ready for the eight rounds. Yeah, that was my next question. You know, you've been pretty active to start your career. Um, do, do you are you going to try anything in between uh, Floyd's fight, or are you just going to wait that out and try to get um, Well, right now we're laying everything out. We're about to see if if I'm if I'm heavily if it's part of Floyd's camp that I think I would be, then I'd rather just focus on that. But if uh, an opportunity comes where I could, you know, fight real quick, then you know I'm, I'm ready. I'll take it. You know, like I said, I'm staying in the gym. You know, this the fight was less than a week ago. We're already back in the gym, so uh, like I, it's just a matter of up to Floyd and Leonard. You know, it's been plenty of times where it, they'll ask for if I want to fight, and you know, and I love to fight, so I'll absolutely take it. But um, if not, then you know, the goal is to fight on Floyd's card or to fight on that night before. You know, one of those. So. Uh, I want to stay busy, regardless of what happens these next two months. Uh, by the end of the year, I want to be as close to 10 and 0 as possible. Every fighter is different on, on fight night. Five of your teammates were involved in fights. Do you, do you watch those, or do you, are you just kind of so no. wrapped up in what you're doing that you don't as much? Or? Um, no, no, I watch it. Uh, this time we're lucky enough that uh, when I was in the back warming up, they were showing the fights on inside the monitor, inside the the warm-up room so I was watching the fights and after the fight you know I, I changed real quick and I went down there and I supported my team um, even though they're not you know you can't they can't really hear me or you know they might not be able to distinguish my voice it's just it's just all about support you know um, I like, we like to support one another we work hard with each other we're all saying to the same person so we want to root for one another so um, you know I was I was in there watching I was in there rooting for, for, for my fellow stable mates anyone impressed you in particular um, I was impressed by Badu Badu, I felt like um, Ennis had, the, uh, what's his name, Farah had a, had a very unique style where he could give he could give Badu some problems. So I told Badu before the fight, like, look, the kick and fight, you got to stay sharp, you got to be on your P's and Q's at all times. You know, the kid was fast, he was kind of strong, but uh, Badu took the fight to him and, and you know, he, he, he 
he set the he set everything straight right away, you know, and he uh I thought that was going to be a much tougher fight for him, but he, he made that look real easy. Yeah. Now all you guys, you know, basically you've, you've won almost all of your fights, but, but Mickey lost his fight. So as a team, how do you rally around someone? Especially when, you know, it wasn't a talent issue, obviously, you know, yeah. he had the better of the fight. So how do you guys, you know, rally around him and, and show him your sport? Well, no, I mean, I called Mickey, you know, I gave him a couple of days, but I, I gave him a phone call um, earlier this week, you know, and I, and I told him, like, in a situation like that, you know, he lost, but he won. You know, he gained a lot of fans. That was a, a, he had a he had a, an excellent performance leading up to 45 minutes of the fight. You know, and I told him that. I told him like, look, you you looked impressive. You were dominating the fight. I think one judge had a complete shutout. The other two judges had him losing a round or two or something like that. So. Um, in a situation like that, it was. It, it, I don't feel like it's gonna hold him back. I told him he could bounce back. You know, I mean, obviously he was he was beating Molina easily. You know, he was easily outboxing him for for you know nine, nine and a half rounds. But like you, like I said, this is boxing. You got to stay focused 100 percent of the time. And he was only focused for 95. He he lost focus for a split second, and we paid for it. We paid for it. But um, again. You know, he, he was taking some shots. To, it showed how strong and how in shape he was. Even all those shots he was taking, he never went down. You know, and that's just to show to the fans and show boxing that he's a true warrior. You know, he took all those shots. I think, you know, somebody said it was some 20 shots, you know, and he still was on his feet, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's like I said, it shows how much of a warrior Mickey Bay is, how much a fighter he really is. And in my heart, I felt like he could have continued, you know. Um, even though he was really hurt and I see why they stopped the fight, I just know what type of a person, what type of warrior he is where it, the, he could have kept going but you know this is boxing you gotta play it safe you know it's, it's people's lives at stake here but um he's gonna bounce back you know I, I mean he has my full support i was already a mickey bay fan but after that fight after all the heart he showed after all all those punches they was going at after such an exciting fight you know i'm even more of a fan of him and i hope a lot of boxing fans are going to become a fan of him as well because like I said, he fought his heart out. So, um, but he's gonna be back. You know, I talked to him. He's ready to come back and show to the world that he's still he's still a top contender. And I think he is. You know, this is just it's a learning experience. You know, he learned that you got to stay focused the entire time. So, uh, he's ready. We're all behind him, and you'll see Mickey Bay real soon. And the last thing you you, you talked about how you're gonna be involved in Floyd's camp. So I know you're gonna be one of the sparring partners. Looking forward to that. And, and yeah. when's the last time you worked with him like that? Um, I worked with him uh, for the Miguel Cotto camp, which was uh, initially how I was brought on to the money team. Um, you know, I auditioned as a sparring partner then. I gave him great work, and that's how basically how he signed me, brought me on. So um, it's been a year. It's been a year, but it's been a, it's been a lot of learning experiences. So like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, uh, he's been he's been whooping on a lot of people now, and he looks sharp now. So I'm ready for it. How does it help you as a fighter? I mean, I, I, it's a, it's it's a helps me in so many different ways, um, especially my confidence. You know, going, you know, just I'm sparring Floyd Mayweather. You know, what I'm saying uh, I'm only six. I'm only six and zero. Oh. Um, the first time I sparred him, I was zero and zero. So I mean, it's a definite confidence booster. You know, every time I step in the ring, I just my coaches and I always tell myself like, you know, this guy's not better than the people I've already worked with. You know, and. It, the stats show it, you know, he's a, Floyd is the greatest, you know, right now. And um, it's going to be a, a great confidence booster. Um, it's also going to be another learn, a great learning experience. I get to, uh, once again, get my hands and my eyes on how, on how it feels and how and what's necessary to become a world champion at that level. So, I mean, uh, I'm just, a, I'm like a pen and a paper. I'm just taking notes and I'm, uh, I'm going to just be ready. He's going to help me in so many different ways and I'm ready to learn. How is it different going in this time? And the first time you were zero and zero, hope, you know, hoping to get signed, you know, by him. And then this time you're actually on his team. Do you more pressure, less pressure? How, you know, what's your attitude going to sparring? Are you trying to show him, you know, even though he's seen you fight, are you trying to show him, you know, hey, this is what you yeah, got? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like. I mean, in terms of the pressure, I, I've learned to deal with it. Um, I felt like it was a little more pressure then because it was more in my life at stake than there is now. Now I'm a little more stable, there's more stability in my life, so it's not that that pressuring in that sense. But it's still fluid, you know. I still, you always want to impress the greatest. Like if if you if you're a basketball player and you see you know the Kobe Bryant or LeBron James out there looking, you want to show them that you got it, you know. So it's kind of the same thing with Floyd, you know. I uh, I just want to show them that uh, you know that I've been learning and that I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Louis. Look forward to seeing you. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.